In this lesson, we've already learned about special triangles, so now we're going to look at special types of quadrilaterals. And here are the different types of quadrilaterals we have. We'll have squares, rectangles, tight, parallelogram, and a rhombus. And so we we'll also have a trapezium, and I forgot to write that on there. So let's just add it to the end here. So there we go, now we've got the six different types of quadrilaterals. And there's a lot of properties, so I'm just going to read them out and you have to listen. And if I'm reading them too fast, you can pause them or if you want to write them down, get a pen and paper ready now. A square has all angles 90 degrees and the opposite sides are equal and parallel. The diagonals are equal and cross at 90 degrees. A rectangle. All 90 degree angles. Opposite sides are parallel and equal again. And diagonals are equal, but they don't cross at 90 degrees necessarily. Kite. Two pairs of adjacent sides which are equal. And it also has one pair of opposite angles which are also equal. And the diagonals cross at 90 degrees. A trapezium, which is this one here, has one pair of parallel sides. And that's all that has. The parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. Opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are also equal. And the rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides. And all sides are equal. And diagonals cross at 90 degrees. So because that's a lot I might I'll draw the pictures here for you. So for you to see. This is going to be a square, they're all 90 degrees. I'm going to put a line to show that they're all the same. And the arrows are going to be for parallel. Them two are parallel. And these will have to have two arrows. Hope that's pretty clear. Rectangles the same really. But not all four sides are the same, but they're still. So those two lines show that these two sides are the same and parallel. And I've got one on them just to show that they're different. This is a kite. And them are the diagonals by the way. And for this one these will be your diagonals. And those will cross at 90 degrees so we're going to get like another square formed inside here just like that. And also in here as well. And we can see which ones are the same and which ones are different. Parallelogram looks something like this. Where these two sides here are parallel. These two sides here are parallel. And it doesn't really have many special properties of angles apart from the one I read out. They're not necessarily 90 degrees. That's a rhombus now. Rhombus is quite hard to draw. All four sides are the same. These two are parallel and these two are parallel. And it has two diagonals which cross at 90 degrees. Which will make something like that for you. So that's quite a good one of a few interesting properties. And Finally a trapezium which will look something like
this. And these two are parallel. They're not equal and them two aren't equal either, so that's the only property it really has. So them other pictures that go with the list of properties and most of the properties are in there with the pictures as well. Let's look at two quick problems now. The kite has a third yeah, the kite, this one is. So let's draw a kite. Yeah. So it has a an angle of 150 which will say this one. And it has a side which is four centimeters. And also a side which is seven. That one looks small, so I'll say that's the four, that's the seven. And remember the adjacent sides are equal, so we can see that this is going to be seven, that's going to be four centimeters. And the opposite angles are equal, so that's going to be 150. And we are told that the other one was, I think it was 30, yep, 30 degrees. So the other one's also going to be 30. And you can check 150 and 150 is 300. 2 times 30 is 60. And that makes 360, so that is consistent with the fact that all the angles in the quadrilateral always add up to 360. Next problem is going to be with a square that's cut in half. Very similar to one like the last video. And now they're all going to be 5 centimetres here. And we know that these are all 90 degrees. And the question is, when, when we cut this in half, from the middle as shown there what two shapes do, do we get? well we can see that these sides are going to be halved so they're going to be rectangles we're going to get two rectangles that's the answer to the first question in this problem the second question asks what are the lengths and angles of them well, because the rectangles, we know that they're all going to be. Let's see, we have two rectangles. We have one and one here, and they're both exactly the same. So they're going to look like this. And these ones aren't going to change. So those are still five centimeters. And all the other ones are halved, so they're going to be 2.5. And also notice very interestingly that if we were to cut this up like that, on either of them, see that we're going to get two squares again, which are basically both the same and they're both going to be 2.5. So every time you do it, you're gonna you and you start off with a square. First one you're gonna end up with rectangles, then you're gonna end up back with squares, and then back with rectangles again, and back with squares. And that's gonna keep a pattern that keeps repeating. So that's something very interesting. So that's why I made up that problem.